guys thank you for joining nigeria network i just want to say thank you for all the love and support thank you for watching my content liking and subscribing to my channel and i do appreciate each and every single one of you guys today we're back with another video another new video for you guys and it's about the recent uh condo that collapsed in surfside miami in the state of florida this was located in the Champlain Towers in Surfside. The condo collapsed and it was it unexpectedly collapsed, killing at least four people and 159 people are unaccounted for, which means that they can't find 159 people. Now, there's a lot of reasons why this condo collapsed. Um, usually buildings don't collapse like this. And, you know, we don't know what caused the building to collapse. Could have been structural damages anything from rebars to it could have been a demolition an explosion we don't know there's a lot of things that we don't know and my personal thing is that that collapse to me looked like a demolition um it did not look natural it was it looked like an explosion went off in the building that made the building go down and right now there's rescue efforts out there uh the military aid is assisting the fire and rescue in Miami to help remove all the debris to see if they can find all these people that are unaccounted for, which is a, such a tragic accident. I can't even feel it for the families that are going through this. Um, I'm trying to help as much as I can, um, but this is such a tragic accident. And this is not known to happen anywhere in the United States. Now, this is the, the fire and rescue efforts are receiving private funding by Governor Ron DeSantis. And they're also receiving FEMA assistance from uh, the president. And um, I just want to say that the military does have a lot of new technology that can sense certain bodies and sounds and where these sounds are coming from. So that will help speed up the process because this process needs to go faster in order to find these people. These people, the more days they go under rubble, they they will not be able to survive the more days they go. So they need to help and speed up this uh, recovery process so they can get more people because we don't want more people to die in this process. And so in this video, I, I have a special guest featuring my father who has who is a civil engineer. He's been doing engineering for over 40 years, especially in the field of civil engineering. And he knows a lot about buildings. He knows a lot about structure and he's going to talk to you guys and uh, give his points of view and what he thinks happened to the building that made it collapse. And he, and you guys will listen to him and then um, he will be coming up next. Okay. So you'll hear from me soon. Hello, I'm Joe Nigerian. I'm a structural engineer in Florida, practicing for the last 40 years. Um, for the last few days, I had a lot of calls from my friends and relatives and co-workers, and, and even my neighbor came to me and uh, asked me if I know the cause of the condo collapse in Surfside. I'm really shocked as much as... Uh, I know uh, as well as other engineers that I've spoken with and they all shocked. Usually 40 year old buildings do not collapse like this um, unless you know of course there are other causes such as um, what happened to a government building in Oklahoma City bombing or uh, unfortunately 9-11. It's very strange and it's very unusual uh, collapse. I remember uh, back in 1974, the only other time that we had a building collapse uh, similar to this was in downtown Miami back in 1974. And that's when, uh, I, unfortunately, I think we lost about six or seven people. Um, and that's when um, building departments came up with a program, it's called 40-year uh, certification. Meaning that every building, uh, with exception as far as the square footage of the building and all that, 
had to go through a 40-year um, inspection consisted of structural and electrical inspection and certifications for every uh, building that's 40 years or older. Of course, there's a minimum square footage requirements uh, in, uh, in each uh, agency. Uh, Miami-Dade is a little bit less than uh, Broward County as far as the square footage requirements uh, as to uh, when you need that 40-year uh, certifications. Unfortunately, um, we won't know the real cause of this uh, uh, tragic collapse until the investigation is completed, uh, and that may take a long time. Um, some of the uh, uh, contributing factors to this collapse is possibly, uh, maybe I'll give you some examples. One is uh, concrete uh, spalling, uh, meaning that since we live nearby the ocean, we get a lot of salt water, salt water mist. Going, uh, mist is the, basically the wind mixed with uh, salt water. Goes through the cracks and start rusting rebars, and when the rebars are rusting, they expand. Uh, they start cracking the concrete. So most common um, structural issues we have in South Florida is basically concrete spalling, meaning rebar is rusting, expanding, blistering, and causing cracks in the buildings. Um, the second one would be uh, excessive settlements, uh, meaning basically the building is settling gradually and uh, and all of a sudden uh, the soil loses its bearing capacity and then possibly causes collapsing or, or excessive settlement. Uh, the third one which I think is the least contributing factor is, is the sinkhole. Especially I believe these buildings are built on piling so uh, sinkholes may not be a, a, a good cause of, uh, of building collapse in this situation. Um, hopefully, um, we're going to find out what happened so we can prevent a uh, disaster like this in the future and save lives. Um, and I'm hoping that local building departments possibly reduce <clears throat> this 40-year certification to maybe a 30, 35-year. Um, because most of the time what happens when the building reaches 40 years, um, the owners or the, or, the, or the management do not really comply until probably two or three years after the 40 years is reached. So I'm hoping that we can reduce this 40 year to uh, maybe 30, 35 years to prevent, uh, again, disasters like this. Thank you. Hopefully we'll find out soon what happened. So you guys just heard my father speak, who, is, uh, who has been a civil engineer for over 40 years and has a lot of experience in his hands. And he himself even states that buildings like this don't just collapse. There has to been something that we don't know or maybe a structural damage and stuff like that. But um, I just want to hear you hear what you guys have to say about this, what you guys think happened to the condo that made it collapse. Let me know in the comments, like and subscribe to this video. And again, thank you for tuning into my content. I will see you guys on the next video. All right, take care.